Hello viewers! Have you ever found yourself feeling awful about wasting food? Unfortunately, it happens all the time. Which is kind of a bummer because a lot of the population doesn't have access to your typical three meals a day. But there is a silver lining. What if I told you that there is a way to reduce your food waste and save a bunch of money? How? Keep watching! Before we do that, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Don't forget to watch this video until the end to support your favorite bestie channel. Now that that's over and done with, let's take a look at this scenario. Let's say you go to the grocery store and you bought enough vegetables, fruits, grains, and meats to last you an entire month. This seems like a great idea at the time, but you live alone and just can't eat all this food in time. Eventually, a lot of those fruits and veggies you spent your hard-earned money on start to go bad, and you're forced to throw a big portion of this food away. Don't feel too bad if you've been there. We all have, but it is a bad habit and can really add up when you think about it. Something else to think about is your carbon footprint. Wasting food is just that, a waste. Shopping locally will help reduce the amount of resources it takes to get the food from the farm to your plate. But in the end, if you don't end up enjoying those delicious veggies and fruit, it was all for nothing and those resources are still putting stress on the planet. Food for thought, huh? Most of us have contributed in one way or another to the amount of food waste that adds up each year. Maybe it's time we start thinking about the impact all this waste has on the planet. And maybe we can try to find ways to reduce all this waste, all while still enjoying access to delicious food. If you're worried about the amount of food and money you're wasting, here are some great things you can put into practice. It starts with smart shopping. As we mentioned earlier, when you buy too much, you run the risk of wasting it. So instead of buying a lot of food, try to buy only what you need. Of course, this may sound like a lot of work as you would probably have to visit the grocery store more times than you would like to. But in the long run, this will help you reduce food waste and save a lot of money. Additionally, we would suggest that you make a list of what you need, which will help you to avoid impulse shopping. Hey, put down those cinnamon rolls. Store your food properly. Many of us have this horrible habit of storing foods like potatoes, tomatoes, garlic, cucumber, and onions inside the refrigerator. Here's a fun fact, these vegetables need to be kept at room temperature and not actually inside the fridge. Weird, right? Not only will you save precious fridge space, but your food will taste much better too. Another important point is to be mindful of the foods that produce ethylene gas. Ethylene is a plant hormone that accelerates the ripening process of food, which could lead to premature ripening and eventually rotten food. Ever put a bunch of peaches together and found that they all turned moldy really fast? Now you know why. Fruits and vegetables that produce this gas include bananas, avocados, tomatoes, pears, green onions, and cantaloupe, among others. These foods need to be stored away from foods such as apples, potatoes, and berries, which are ethylene sensitive. Serve only what you will eat. How many times have we left food on our plates after realizing we can't finish? No, we're not just talking about the huge portions in a restaurant. Most of us have done this at home too. This culture of over-serving has slowly crept into our systems and has stayed with us to form a pretty bad habit. This bad habit not only leads to overeating, but wasting food too. Save your leftovers. As we mentioned earlier, try to only serve what you will eat, but if you can't do that, then here is a yummy alternative. Leftovers. If you're in a restaurant and you can't finish the food that you ordered, try to bring along a container so that you can use it to take the leftovers home. Bringing your own container will also help out the planet and reduce waste. And you'll have a delicious snack for later that you won't have to cook. It'll also save you some cash, which is a very nice feeling. Don't let your fridge get cluttered. It's always good to have a fridge that's well stacked, but overflowing isn't great. When you clutter up your fridge with too much food, you run the risk of food spoilage and, in turn, more food waste. To avoid this, try keeping your fridge clutter-free. Not only will you be able to see what you've bought, you'll avoid the possibility of your food going bad because you can see it. 
Plus, whenever you go to the store, you won't buy any food repeats because again, you can see what you already have. Additionally, try to keep your fridge clean. This will help keep the germs away and help you avoid food spoilage. Another good practice is to have a first in and first out approach when it comes to your fridge. For example, you bought a new carton of milk, but you still have a little milk left from the carton you bought the day before yesterday. We would suggest that you keep the new carton behind the old one so that you use up the old carton first and nothing gets wasted. Understanding how the expiry date works. This can be a bit confusing, so let's break down the expiry date. When you keep packaged food in the fridge, take a look at the expiry date. If you've bought butter, yogurt, chocolates, or milk, the package will always have the date printed somewhere on the label with a best before date. Is it a suggestion? Can you still eat or drink something past its best date? Sometimes, it depends on the food. In this scenario, we suggest that you use your discretion before you decide to consume or throw away the product. However, if this product has been in your fridge for more than three days past its expiration date, then we would suggest that you say goodbye. You don't want to make yourself sick. Apart from these, there are also a few other ways you can reduce your food waste. Give your water a better taste. Sometimes water can be boring. We're supposed to drink a lot of this life-giving liquid in a day, but realistically, few of us actually drink the recommended amount, which is eight eight-ounce glasses a day, by the way. That's a lot of drinking. But what does this have to do with food waste? We're getting there. To spice up all this water you're supposed to drink, try adding citrus to the mix. Apples or cucumbers are a fantastic addition to your regular water routine and will give it a tangy or sweet taste. If you want to get really fancy, you can add herbs or berries to your water. Ooh la la! Now, if you have extra leftovers from the fruits or berries you used, you don't have to throw it away. Instead, try saving them for a delicious afternoon pick-me-up smoothie. Zero waste and lots of nutrition. Speaking of zero waste, reuse edible scraps. Often while cutting vegetables for curry or broth, we tend to cut off portions that are still edible. Instead, you can reuse those scraps to make a delicious broth. It's really simple and the more variety in the scraps, the more flavorful it'll be. Just add olive oil and butter and now you're really cooking. In fact, it's not just vegetable scraps we're talking about when reusing the scraps. The same thing can be done when it comes to meat bones by adding veggies, herbs, and water. This will not only reduce waste and save money, but it'll make your tummy happy too. Since we're discussing reusing food instead of throwing it all away, do you remember our video, Is Almond Milk a Good Alternative for Cow's Milk? If you've not checked it out yet, we suggest that you do. In that video, we mentioned how you can use almond milk to make your own homemade moisturizer. Sounds cool, right? So the next time your almond milk goes past the expiry date, you know what to do. Whoa, that was a lot of information to give out in one video. Oh, that's my cue. Gotta run. Do you know any other methods to reduce food waste and save money? Let us know in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.